jump it. I said, how bad do you want it? When I throw it, you better go crazy. Somebody, anybody, tell me what benefit this is. I'm never going to shy away from pointing out things that make a mockery of the word of God, that make a mockery of the church, that make a mockery of his name. Those are the things that should be pointed out. And those are the things that we as believers should shun and cause other believers to also shun. There are those that are just unwitting who the Bible says that they prey on these people. They prey on these people because they are unwitting. But that doesn't mean because they're unwitting that they don't deserve to have someone to warn you about some of this foolishness. Now, Look at this and you tell me, someone tell me what possible godly benefit does this bring? Y'all ain't jumping. I said, how bad do you want it? When I throw it, you better go crazy. God said, how bad do y'all want it? Y'all want it? How bad do y'all want it? God said, when I throw it, you better take it. Promise you, God said you coming out. God said you coming out. God said you coming out. So help me out. I could be wrong. Tell me how, where, in what way does this magnify God? Remember, before we, we're going to go back to the video, but I want to go go over a couple of passages. Number one, in Leviticus ten, we see these two men who are supposed to be priests of God, who are supposed to be servants of the Lord who approached the Lord in an unworthy manner, either because of the wrong time or what they brought or their attitude, whatever it was, they were burned up. This is Nadab and Abihu. And the response that they get, and I've covered this a lot because I think it's important to understand this and get this down inside of us to make sure we don't forget about this. Moses tells Aaron about his sons being burned up by God. He says what the Lord says, by those who come near me, that is come near God, I will be treated as holy. Take a look at what we're seeing here on the on the on the screen and then take a look at what we see again in these video clips. And you tell me, are these people approaching God, treating him as holy and before all the people I will be honored. So look at the clip again and you tell me, are they treating God as holy? Are they honoring him? Y'all ain't jumping. I said, how bad do you want it? When I throw it, you better go crazy. Throwing your shoe, taking your shoes off. And throwing in the cloud, the crowd. Is that is that honoring God? Is that is that about him? Is that about him getting glory? One more passage before we go back to it. One of my favorite passages, 1 Corinthians 10 31. It says, Whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. Not for yourself to make yourself a spectacle. He says, Give no offense either to the Jews, or to the Greek, or to the church of God. Does that does, is what he's doing, or some of the other actions that we see in some of these churches? Do those bring about offense? Because if they do, don't do them. He says, just as I also please all men in all things, not seeking my own profit, but the profit of many so that they may be saved. There are people who are unsaved who look at these things and they will not come along and get with what you're shoveling out because it's not biblical. God said, how bad do y'all want it? How bad do you want what? Taking off your 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 top, your not your shirt, but your I guess your jacket, your your tie, your shoes, and throwing them in the audience. First of all, if you hit somebody, that might be an issue. But two, why? What what is that doing? What does that prove? And how bad do you want what? Well, whatever you want, it should be found in the scriptures. That is, if it's worth anything, and if it's in the scriptures, you don't have to throw anything off. You don't have to take and do any sort of drastic measures or some sort of uh, gimmickry thing that you do on stage. Just give them the word of God. How about that? Y'all want it? Y'all want it? God said, when I throw it, you better take it. When did God say, if when I throw it, you better take it? Th that's not in the scriptures anywhere. And the point is, you're teaching people the wrong way to view God. You're not giving them an opportunity to appreciate the true God because you're not presenting the true God. You're presenting someone or something that you can mock. And again, God will not be mocked. And if you don't think that you're mocking or you causing other folks to mock God, that's the problem. So if someone thinks that I'm wrong, fine. Tell me what we just saw. Tell me how that benefits the body. Tell me what good does it do. Tell me where do we see any of that in scriptures. And please don't go to David. David does, does not dancing like this. David is not. And I'm not so, so much bothered by the dancing. 
It's the other shenanigans and the promises that God is going to do something for you. So let me throw my shoe and then you receive this so that you can get how bad do you want it? Tell me where this is biblical. Anybody.